Hi everyone. So I was asked um, if I would do, just let me grab it. Sorry guys. Um, I was asked if I would um, show how I would go about creating a book like this um, to prepare the base. So um, I thought we might give that a go today. Sarah would be, my sister would be the best one to do it because she just did one. But um, And I did a really bad job, really, really bad job when I did um, bought my Jessie Chorley kit. Chorley, Chorley, Jessie Chorley kit. Mm. I'm just having a decaf um, macchiato. Um, so this, like, this is just a vintage book. It's not very old. It's from, I'll tell you when, it's a bit whiffy. Um, 1960. So oh, the paper's quite nice, actually. Oh, we could keep those images. Cute. Okay, so um, I can't remember how you do them. Um, so these are good pages to keep. Oh, no, you want to strengthen the pages. So I think I would glue those two pages together, definitely, because they sort of attach. All you need is a glue stick. Um, and I'm actually just going to glue this down first. I'm trying, going to try and get a bit of, you'll probably use quite a bit of glue stick. I don't want air, too many air bubbles in it, so um, just try and get glue everywhere. I know I've seen, when I first started making journals, this was one type of journal that I, um, I watched how you did it because it seemed like it was the easiest thing to me. But they do take some time to make. Let's just go like this, make sure it all sticks down properly. Um, and then the other thing you have to be careful of is that you don't want to weaken it too much, the book. Now you want, I think it's a good idea maybe to keep them quite strong. So I'm going to glue actually three pages together. Um, because you want your pages to be quite strong. And that way, if you wanted to, you could even do a little bit of, um, I think, mixed media on them. Obviously you wouldn't, they wouldn't like the watercolour would soak through if it was too wet but you could certainly do a little bit of painting in there I think if they were thick enough maybe you could even do four pages together it will also depend on your type of paper how thick it is too so basically what they do just let me get my other one that I did um, when I first started let's see if I can find it now which one was it was it this one? So you see here, see how it's thinned out? Because every amount of pages, you remove some. Now this is very bodgy, this one. But let me, oh no, that one, sorry, no, that one I stitched in pages. That was the first one I ever stitched in pages. Let me just grab my, I'm not going to show you what I did with the Jessie Chorley one. It, I did, really didn't know what I was doing. It was such a mess. But I just want to have a look at um, what did I do. I probably could fix it. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Um, so I did. I just want to have a look and see. You can see how, how it thins out because you glue a certain amount of pages together. Um, I glued quite a lot of pages together here. Um, just trying to remember because it was quite a while ago. I think I masking taped them down as well. That's what I did. Just trying to see. Yeah, I did. I think in that one I did about four pages. So um, I don't think this one needs four pages. And then you take a certain amount out. Um, what I'm thinking is, I wonder if you took the pages out from the inside and then, um, and then glued them down a whole lot. Like, I wonder if I were to remove that. Let's try it. Let's just see what happens. It's not the end of the world. Um, and then tear this out, like so, and tear. So I'm removed, I've removed four pages there. And then I could glue those two pages down. One, two, and I wouldn't glue that one down. I'd take that one out or leave even leave it there. No, I want to take that one out because I'll tell you why. 
So I'm going to glue three pages. Let's see what happens. I kind of like the idea of having the removed pages um, inside the gluing. So maybe just get a little bit of... I might seem disorganised to you. Well, I am disorganised. That's not a surprise to anyone who knows me. However, um, it's just because I haven't done one of these for a long time. And I can't remember how I did it. And, um, and I haven't watched any recent videos on this sort of thing. So, But I'm thinking, in my mind, and I could be wrong, that that is going to be stronger because those torn bits are inside. And then I want to glue it to another page. Here, I want to glue it to there. So it's even, so because you kind of make, they're quite thick. They end up being quite thick. But we might need to tear out more pages than three. No, how many did I tear out? One, two, three. One, two. Oh, five pages, including the image. So five pages is probably good, actually. And the reason why I left a little bit where, there where I tore it off the other pages was um, that way they sort of won't come up. It, they won't come apart, if you know what I mean. But I probably need to tear out more than what I did. So I need to take out, what have I got here? One, two, three, four. I'm going to rip all of those out. I'm not going to worry about that. And I think I, that's five. I might even tear out six pages. Six. So we're tearing out six now. We'll see what happens with six, how we like it. Don't know if I'm doing the wrong thing here, but we'll soon discover. On screen, yes. Okay. That, is there another page bit there? No. Now I'm just going to glue these down a little bit just to get them out of the way. And put some glue there, glue that down, and then I need to glue it to another one. Good way to use up your glue. Now, some people put a very thin, um, they paint on um, white glue, just PVA glue, or Mod Podge, or whatever your preferred glue is. Um, I prefer to use glue stick. So that's my next page. And now we'll, we'll do um, take out the center. Now there's less there. One, that's only two. I want to get rid of six. You can see how easy it is. Two, that's three, four, five. And I just, I don't, that one I can tear off like that. That would be six. And then I need to glue them down, you see. And they don't have to be glued to absolute perfection right to the border if you don't want to. But I'm trying to do my best because you don't want, I mean, in, you saw in Jessie Chorley's, um, there's a few edges popping up. And the re obviously the reason for um, taking out pages, I probably need to take out more. The reason for taking out pages is to remove bulk. And then I need to glue it to another one. Whoops. See, that's the thing also. Um, it'll probably get harder and harder. Okay, and I need to glue it to here. Don't worry, I've ordered, as I mentioned in my other video, which you'll see before this one, I've ordered more glue sticks. Pack of 10. Now that, I'm not liking that bit there, why that is going like that. 
Now let me just have a look now. We've done a little bit. See, it's sort of thinning out. Can you see there's a gap between? It's not as tight, I might. That's, I'm not enjoying that rippling up like that. I probably should leave it flat and let it dry, but it doesn't matter. Probably collage over it anyway, if that's what I decide. So let's take out more pages. That's two. Three. Four. Six. I'm going to take out seven. Seven. Let me see how that other page has got. So you've got that crease. That's not too bad. Ideally, you'd have to leave it flat to dry. I guess because I've got that ledge in there. So you could decide, well, we might try it because we're testing out the different ways to do it. So this is, we'll finish off this one, finish it off like the other ones. And then we'll try and see how we, how we like it. If we tear the pages out, I'll show you a different method. And then you can try both and I'll tell you what I feel like I like more. And then you can try. And then you can decide what you like more. Does it, Lily? Okay, so get the glue everywhere. I should really pull out my PVA tub and use that with a brush. Okay, so that's two glued together, but I want three. Lulu's having... Are you having a video chat, Lulu? Yeah. Ciao, ragazze. <laughs> I'm saying hello to Lulu's friends. They're doing a video chat. Did, are they living in their jammies, Lulu? So that's that. the last of that way. We're, now we're going to try it the other way. So... Um, so in, in the sense that I'm going to remove the pages, one, two, three, four, cute little illustrations that can be used, this is number five. Maybe remove and have that on the outside or just leave it or glue it back over that way. Could be good. Or glue some over that way and some over that way. Maybe I'm going to try that. Let's see what happens with that. As you can see, I'm, I, I have, I've only done one, as I said. So it's just a bit of trial and error because so, we want, don't want that page to. And I'm not tearing it right to the edge because I don't want all my pages to fall out. And I feel like that if you leave a little flap, it'll stay. Oh, Lulu, I'm doing a video. Joya won't watch my video, will she? No. No, okay. Okay, so that's that. And then glue these three pages together and see what happens. And then that can be covered by collage. I, I feel like I might enjoy this, this method more. Let's see. Although, I don't know, in the oven, with the other way, we just did it before. It's all hidden, isn't it? I do wonder whether I've 
pulled enough pages out. Yes, I know. So that's the third page. And then I've got to put my glue on here. So you can see it's a bit, it is time consuming doing this. So what I might do, we'll do another one of these and then I'll pause it. And then we can add, add the, attach the videos. And, um, and maybe I can have a think about the cover. We can do that. That would be fun. So that would, let's see how those feel. That might be better. That's better, I think. So the first method I did, I had my, um, see, I had my, um, you know, torn out bits inside. With this, and then, I, but here I started to get a little bit of a, a, a ledge there. But I don't know that that's really an issue because if you do some, you know, work on it, it's not a problem. But then there's this, this method where I've glued them, I've kept it on the outside and glued some down on one side and some down on the other. And then, of course, you would collage over that. Um, I know people would rip it right out, but I feel like it does weaken the spine. So um, I have a sip of coffee. For example, this could be a good page to keep in the sense that you would have that you know that however i think i'm going to i'm going to keep on i'm going to do another one with the this other method that we just did with the second method so that's one two three four five uh, that's very bad tearing five I'll do, I'll take six out. You really do need to take quite a few pages out because you don't want, um, you don't want, I'll do three on this side. I think I did six. I might have lost count because I'm distracted listening. I'm, I'm eavesdropping on the, on the um, video call. Actually, that I could have just, I, actually, I can just rip that one right out. That's two pages. That's the middle page. Those can, pa those can come out. Just realise that. Got my wet towel here. Okay. Right, so then we'll glue this down because that's not a middle page. If I rip that out, then another page will fall out. So we don't want that. So that's so we're only go I'll do three on that side. If I can get there, yep. Just be patient, Rachel. And then I'll glue that down there. Okay, there we go. So I only had two on one side and two on the other because I took two out. Okay, and now I need to glue. Yes, I think I like this second method more than the other. So we'll glue these down and then I'll pause the video and I'll go ahead and finish the book off because, you know, you've got to do the whole book. Right. And while I'm doing that, I'll have a think about how I might like to decorate it. I may decide, you see, if you use a wet glue, you will get rippling in your pages, especially if you don't have, these are quite thick. It's quite nice quality paper, this paper. It's actually quite a nice colour too, so I'll keep all the bits that I tore out and use them as glue pages to do things with. Okay. Just make sure they stick down. Okay. So look, you can see the book is starting to thin out there. Okay. So I'll pause the video and I'll get on and finish off the book and then I'll come back. Hi guys, so I'm back. Right, I'll show you what I did. I've just got a box of stuff here that could be of interest. Um, I've got no idea what I want to do on the cover, but let's just have a look inside. So um, I ended up taking out six pages and leaving three, okay? The, originally, um, I glued the, the ripped pages inside, but as I went ahead, I got this ridge and I didn't like that. 
So then I decided to, now I'll have to, fit, when you, when you, when whoever or me or whoever uses this book, what you'll end up doing is um, these bits here will be under the collage or whatever you do. So, and you can just re-glue them if they come undone. So then what I ended up doing was um, I would le I left three pages and then ripped out six pages. And then, but I didn't rip the pages out right at the spine right in there I left a bit and I glued half on one side and half on the other side and I think I like that more in, and it will go down like you could if you've got that surgical tape that's kind of invisible that could be a good thing to put in there as well it took me about another I want to say 40 to 45 minutes maybe even 50 minutes to finish the book off after I turn the video off just to give you an idea of how it does take a bit of time it's all a bit sticky in here there's a bit of glue there, but that's what I ended up doing. And I and, and what I did was um, I would leave three pages, tear out six pages, and I went through and did that all the way through the book and then, and then went back and glued everything. And I found that I had to jiggy it a little bit here because it was a little bit stiff with the gluing. But you can see the book's now less than half what it was or about half what it was. You could even decide to tear out more, but there's lots of pages left in there to um to play with so i'm going to pull my sleeves up and i don't normally do this this is not my thing but i'm going to um do what jesse does and gesso it a bit so i don't want too much gesso on my brush I just want to dry brush it i'll just dry brush it like this it's a bit white i'll dry brush it and then maybe i'll try and wipe some off And I think um, what I didn't say is what I highly recommend is one of these older books that have kind of the linen sort of fabric sort of cover. I think these are the better ones to use because you get that look at you get that nice texture there. I don't know why I'm doing this because I have no idea. But anyway, and I could then go like this and just smush it about because this towel is damp. So anyway, that's that. I'm just going to turn it just gonna do this bit here you don't want too much gesso on your brush because otherwise you'll be get big clumps of white and that's not really dry oh it's nearly dry and then see that's too much but I'll just try and spread it And you could actually um, probably put a little bit of colour in there and make it more, not so white, a bit more creamy would be probably good. Okay. Now, I don't have any water in here, so I can't um, wash my brush, but hopefully it'll be all right by the time I finished. There we go. So that's a very quick process, isn't it? Okay, so we'll put that aside. And now this is the hard bit because I don't know how I want to decorate the outside. And I'm wondering, um, like Jessie went through and put pages there and could do a few. But as you saw when I did my um, collaging in here, I've ended up covering most of it. That's what I've ended up covering most of that. So I don't know whether... Is that okay if I close the Yep. I don't know whether I want to do... See, I kept that there. I mean, I would want to keep some of that. So we'll think about that. We'll see in a minute. Um, let's concentrate on the outside. Might end up being two videos. You never know. Depends how long I procrastinate for. Okay, so down here, I have all these unfinished projects here. You'll, you'll die when you see. Put all this un well, that's not unfinished product, but that's sitting with the unfinished projects in the hope that I finish them. So I'll just put my wet towel, I'll just hang it on the edge railing of my table. Now that was going to become a journal, so I won't. This was going to become a little journal. It needs some embroidery on it, so I won't use that. Well, this was something that I had made some time ago. It's got it all marked, and I mean, that would be super cute. Hmm, that would be cute. Quite like that. I've got some lace here. Didn't remember I had that lace. And that's a big slow stitching I've done. 
so I don't think that will go in there. Right. Some lace. Oh, that was going to be a pouch, and then I decided not to do it. Oh my goodness! Oh, isn't that lovely? I didn't remember that. And these are other things that I have that I I made, but then I didn't do anything with them. I made them a long time ago, many before I did any journal making. Little birdies. They could be nice on there. Maybe some fabric. Ooh. Oh, this is something else that I... <laughs> all these things that I start making and I didn't... Finish. I started that many moons ago. Don't even know what I was doing. That's many moons ago, that one. Oh, dear. My, when my mother-in-law comes over and she sees all these unfinished projects, she just can't believe it. Fabrics everywhere. What's this one? Oh, this is one that my mum did. We could go the Japanese route. Mmm, I even like that. So there's those. They're all possible. There's a, see, there's a book page. That's another one my mum did. Isn't that pretty? Mmm. That's really nice, actually. Put that on there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Am I cheating having all these things that are already done? Okay, so we've got all of... Oh, these are all the things that I had when I did my mum's project. Okay. Oh, I love that. Now, wouldn't that be nice as a closure? Now we're becoming very elaborate. <laughs> becoming very, very elaborate, Rachel. Okay, well, that's a possibility. Got some embroidery there. And that's a piece that mum just gave me. She was going to throw it out, that cheeky, cheeky little monkey. And they're just fabric. So that's all stuff. A lot of that stuff I brought back from Australia. And that's just an embroidery that I have. Okay. So let me see. What do we... I love that. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love it. And I do feel it's the perfect size. Mm. And then to have something like that. I could stitch something on there. Oh, I do like that. Could do something on the back. A bit of this linen that I painted would be nice. And some lace. Oh, now it's coming together. Something completely different to what I thought I was going to do. So that, that's a possibility. The other possibility is something like this, maybe with some music paper behind it. Just a minute. I think I had some music paper here. <laughs> hmm. There's a little piece. Oh, here's a bigger piece. Let's just, I just sort of like, sometimes I'll just slip a little piece under. You could have a bit of music. See, that would be nice too. You could have something like this. Um, where do you put it? There. And have a bit of this. That would be pretty too. I don't know. Well, I can do more. I think I'm going to put my mum's thing up. I'm going to put this on here. What do you think? I don't know. I wish you could tell me. But otherwise, I could put this one on. It's all marked, that one. Looks old. See, this is a butterfly that I made. Um, it's a bit fiddly. And I wired the wings. They're wired and they've got lace. I think that I like that. See, that would be cute too. I quite like that too. <gasps> decisions and I can't ask Lulu because she's on the phone can't ask Lulu that one or mum's one that's really precious to me that my mum made that I think I'm gonna put that on there okay so that's that's out of that box I've got to sort all that stuff out that just sits there I've got lots of things that mum made um so that's really easy I'm going to glue that down right now. That's a decision made. If I can find, where are you, PVA? Over here. I'll just move that. This is the journal I'm working on. I'll move that out of the way. I haven't done, I have another video to do to work on something for that. Um, but I haven't done that yet because I got distracted, sidetracked by this because I was asked. And I was like, okay, yes, why not? I've got a few books that I bought um, a while ago to do this sort of thing with because. Um, when I first started, one of the things um, I did was I um, 
I watch Gina at the rebookery. Gina gets very busy at work during the year. Um, and then she's more active um, doing videos during the summer because she's a teacher. I think she's a science teacher. She's very clever. Anyway, we all know Gina from the rebookery, I think. Rebookery. You can just look her up on um, YouTube. And she did this planner. And I did, I started off, but then I get, got really busy and I didn't keep up with the planner, which I was sorry about. But I also didn't rip out enough pages. It's made in a similar style, but I can't remember whether we glued the page, ripped the glued the rip pages inside or outside. I've I've chosen to do it outside here. But um it just kept it just was very bulky, but I loved it. And I, I did a fabric cover on it. Um removable fabric cover, which I really like. So I've kept it, but I didn't continue on using it as a planner because I'm very bad at planning. <laughs> I don't plan. But I did enjoy it because I did a few, my dad came over and I documented that in there. And there's probably videos way back when, I can't remember how far back. And um, and so, yeah, so she's she's the first person I think, well, no, I think I might have watched someone else do that before I knew of her. But um, I, I can't, I didn't tear out enough pages. And it also started to become very weak did start to become very weak at the um, um, where the spine is so I think this will be the, the this will be I think I've done this one better than I did that one yeah so that's going to be that and then I need to I've got some very thick just a minute let me have a look here let me see if I can find it I'm wondering whether I might like one of these trims. This is like linen trim rather than using sari silk all the time. I could have a linen trim to tie it. This one might be too thick to tie a bow with and it clashes with that so I wouldn't use that one. Um, that one, I, I don't know, I could use this one. A bit thin I think or otherwise I've got this off-white I think that one's too much of a contrast and then the other thing I wanted to look at before I make any snappy decisions is um, I also have all of this lovely hardware it could be like I wonder I could stitch something like that if I were to stitch that on there, you could attach something and have it, I don't know, I have to think about it then. This one. I think I'd like some sort of hardware. I've just got to find the one. These ones have that one, no. But there. I should have stitched it on there before. See, so you could attach the, rather than tying a bow, you could attach the trim there. Which one was I thinking of? This one. And it could thread through there and then come back around and thread through there. Let's just have a look. I have others that I haven't, um, like that. I have others that I, that's the same, that I haven't cleaned yet. I, I couldn't find them and then I found them and I love that. Hmm. don't know. See, this one's got a little handle on it so you, you'd have to have that. You wouldn't want that on the front because then when you open your book... Oh, no, that's all right. Oh, that's actually good. It's exactly the same height as the spine. You see, and you lean on it. Oh, might be hazardous. I don't know. Might be hazardous. Because that would be a bit of fun. 
Um, that's why that one's huge. That's like takes over. And then there's silver. There's silver down there. No. Love the keys. Put a key on there. Um, I thought I got some more keys somewhere. Maybe that's all I bought. So I think I might like that one. Because I could stitch that one there. I'd stitch on the, the trim and then stitch that there and there and then have the trim slip through there. I think I might like this trim. Let's just have a look. We'll unravel it. So if I were to, I'll just grab a pin and I'll just pin that there. And that would, see this I'll have to glue here. That will be glued because I can't stitch through the spine. And then that would wrap around like so. And it would slip through there. See, I like that. Now, what I might do, which will take some time, is I think I'll stitch that on there first. And I think I'll just it, I'll machine stitch it because I want it to be strong. So I'll put all of those away. I've decided what one I'm going to use. I'm really excited to use one of those. I just put them in that bodgy plastic bowl there. Um, so I'm going to see. This is a, a a project that's evolving it's not pre-planned or anything like that as you know you'll be used to that by now but I uh, you know it's just beyond me now I did like that but I think I want something else there as well so I have to decide but first thing I'm going to do is sort this out and I'm going to stitch that on there I'm actually going to zigzag it on This is a beautiful piece of old linen. Um, yep, that's good. It's already on the zigzag. I don't want that to be crooked. I'm just going to turn it around and come back again so it's extra strong because there'll be a lot of pressure there. There will be a lot of pressure on there pulling to close it. So that's that. I'm just going to zigzag across here as well because make it straight because I don't want that to come undone. And again, I'm going to go around twice just to be sure. Actually, I might take it out and come back and do it again. So that's doubly stitched, so that'll be all right. You can fray to the stitching. Okay. And now I'm just going to think about this for a second. And then it could be loose. It, does, it doesn't actually have to. Yeah, no, I want to attach it. I want to attach it there. I do. And I'm going to have to glue it. So I'll glue it. So that's how it will be. I think I'll have it a bit more like that. So this is just me trying to figure it out. And I'll have to stitch that on there. Okay, I think I'll have it overhanging just a little bit. Stitch it there, but I'm going to hand stitch it on. Okay, can we get rid of those? Don't need those. And then on the reverse side... I 
think I'm going to glue that down. I might put some music paper. What about a bit of music paper? Music paper. Um, put the music paper like that. Now maybe I'll tear that a little bit. music paper yeah I like the music paper. I think I might need to bring it up a bit no down a bit bring that down a bit that's better okay I'm going to glue those down smoosh it about So my mum actually, um, she wanted to give me all those embroideries, those slow stitching, the slow stitching that she'd done. So, yeah, but I actually, I didn't want her to give them to me. I, I paid her for them because I felt like, you know, if I put them on a journal and I sell it, then I make money out of it. And that's, you know, mum's like, oh, but it's my pleasure. I just love sitting doing them. And I said to mum, well, I'm not going to make money off your back. So you're going to be paid for them and then if I use them then that's fine I do also buy my mum quite a bit of fabric too I just surprise her I just go into her favorites and then I, if I see something I go and buy it for her um, so I was just watching um, Diane H's Diane Hubert's um, video and she's embroidering and she was saying she wasn't sure why um the, you know the stitching was called slow stitching um well i mean and what was the difference between slow stitching and embroidery well it's kind of a hard one that one isn't it um what i was would want to say is that um slow stitching to me is this this sort of thing where you do lots of um, you do lots of layering of fabrics, and well, it's all slow stitching. If it's hand stitch, it's slow stitching. But it's it's taken on this new label over these last few years, um, and so for me, and also for my mum, and I think for my sister, we feel like this is more this is slow stitching, where every piece is hand stitched on. There's no machine stitching there, and then you you do rows and rows and rows of borrow stitch or canvas stitch or running stitch whatever you want to call it and then there can be embroidery as well um and it's slow stitching because you you do it by hand it's all done by hand whereas you know like if you embroider a flower that to me is yes it is slow stitching because it takes a long time but that's more embroidery to me i would distinguish them that's all but if i mean to these days it's all it's all i think it's all called um slow stitching because it takes a long time that's what that's what it's all about but to me when I think of slow stitching I'm thinking of the layered um look with running stitch everywhere and little stitches and it can be seed stitches everywhere but everything is hand stitched and and um it looks like I'm oh, sorry I'm getting distracted now I think my mum's done something under there and she didn't like it and she's covered it up that would be just like her and the other thing I love about mum's work is she always leaves her tacking in so she's got her tacking cotton there um but I like it because it's textural I never take it out so mum forgets about it and leaves it there okay I'm not going to actually attach that yet because I want to hand stitch this on and I'm going to put it about there I think like that and the other thing I'm thinking is this I'm actually going to do a running stitch along the edge of this. And so I don't want to attach it to the book because then it'll be, be a bit annoying. But what I want to do is decide how long do I want it. I think I want it about 
I think I'll have it just about that long. And what I'm going to cut it at an angle. And because it'll fray, what I'm going to do is I will, um, I'll probably continue my running stitch along there and kind of hem it at an angle and now trim that bit off. And then that will just slip through like it's a belt. I like that. I do like that. And then, and then I will, um, I might put something here. I might not. I just have to decide that. And I might do, I probably will put something more on the back. I haven't decided. Probably put some lace on the back, I think. Yes, let's have a look at the back because we'll just decide on the back what to do now. Got the back, got like, got, I've got, I tidied up all the laces that I had on my table. I've done that before, but you know, every so often you've just got to stop and tidy it all up because it just all gets out of control. So I've got all these nice laces here that I can choose from. That might be fine. I think I would like something that stands out a little bit more than that. Isn't that pretty? Um, and then maybe in the comments, what do we think we should do inside? Maybe, I don't know, because I love this. I think I'll put some of this on here. I'm just going to trim off a bit. Okay. Um, so maybe, I don't know whether to do anything. I might put some tabs inside, for sure. So let's, I've got to lift this up. So I've got to pretend like it's attached. That's what I've got to do. Pretend like it's attached. So that's going to be like that. And then, don't know. Put it there. No. See, I think I've cut a piece that off that's way too big. I think it's way too big. I'm going to trim some more off. I know that I make people cringe. I know. Cringe away. It's cringe worthy. I could put that there. I think I like it there. Do I? I don't know. Never done this before. Oh, I think I like it up there. That's where I'm going to put it. It's a very pretty flower. I might move it over slightly. I'm just going to eyeball a little bit where I'm going to put my bits of glue under there. So you just repair as you go. Well, that's nice. They're having a video conference, those kids. There's a whole lot of them there talking. It's very nice. Oh, I've done it the wrong way. The angle. Anyway, it's good. And then I'll just put some glue under here. It's nice they're having a video chat because they're... I think they miss each other. Although Lucy was telling them she loves being at home. She's having a great time. Okay. Oh, I like that. And then I might, I've, I've run out of um, really nice stamped fabric. So we might do that one day. I'll stamp some fabrics. And, um, and then we might put a stamped fabric on there maybe. Or stamped something else. I'll just decide. It's too hard for me to make all these decisions in one go got to think about it okay so that's that and I've stitched that on there I'm not going to sit and you I mean I'm just going to I'll start it I'll show you I'll start it so you can see what I'm going to do there and then I'll finish it off camera because otherwise you'll be here all day watching me do that and that would be would not be fun now oh dearie me I've put you know what I've done I put my thread in the other cupboard in there so I'll just get another one for this unit. I've got more. There we go. I'm collecting dust because I haven't done any embroidery for a while. Is that the one I want? It doesn't have any cream in there. Yes, it does. I'll use. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, that's perfect. Is that what I want? No, I think I might use this colour. No, not that colour. I'll use this one. I think my mum gave me... Oh, there's my cream. I was looking for that the other day. Do I want that colour? Or... No. Oh, that colour might be nice, you know, because... Let's have a look. So, I'm sorry, off screen there. Or that colour, or... No, I think I want to keep it more neutral, so we'll go with that colour. Okay, and we'll just use this perlay. And 
a perp I don't normally get a super long piece, but I want to get quite a long piece because I don't want to have a million knots in it. So I at least want to have a piece that's going to get me, hopefully, probably won't, but hopefully get me to the end. Okay, so we will see. Now, I could have stitched that on by hand, but I just wanted to make sure it was extra long. Oh, you know what other colour would be really nice? I've changed my mind. <laughs> Took me five seconds to change my mind. I think I might like a dark blue. And I don't have it in these, the type of blue that I want. So I have to get my other ones. I'm sorry, guys. This is, this is, this is what crafting with Rachel is like. Instant changes. Do I want that blue? Or do I want this blue? This type of blue. That one? That one. Okay, well, I don't have it. I do have enough of that one, do I? I think I probably do. I'll use this one. I don't have to go anywhere. I'll use this. Talk about all over the place. Someone will probably tell me off. I get told off sometimes when I'm disorganised. Well, you know, crafters... In reality, not all crafters are organised. It's just the way it is. And I like changing my mind. I do. Can't help it. It's part of the fun. It is part of the fun for me. Is it fun for you to change your mind? I enjoy it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just come up here. This is super, like a super fast job, really, to do. Just trim my tail off. I guess it's kind of in keeping with, you know, Jessie does a lot of, and I'm just going to running stitch. Oops. It's very easy through this linen because it's um, quite thin, but you're going to, because it's that my thread's long, I'm going to get knots. I know I am going to get knots. So the question is going to be decorate or not decorate inside I might just do a little bit like what um, Jessie does and put a few bits here and there and some sort of stamp tags and um, and maybe some tabs or something a mixed some mixed tabs so I'm basically just going to run all the way along here give you that hand stitched look now, the reason I didn't go with the champagne -y sort of colour was that it would have blended in and I felt like this would just give it a little bit more interest, this colour. So you get knots when you've got your thread too long. It's not advisable. But sometimes you have to because I don't want to have a million um, knots in the back of my trim do I I will have a few but I don't want a million I don't even know if I got a, a piece that's long enough here so I'm just running it's just running along and that's what all of those stitches are it's just rows and rows of running stitch and it just creates a texture a little bit of texture Okay, so we're nearly there. When I go around the corner, I'll stop the video. And then we'll come back for another video, I think. So we're just um, altering a book. It's a, a no, no, so, no signature sew journal. That's what we'll call it. So not sewing in any signatures. Great way to start, I think. Oh, I know what I'm going to do inside. I'm not going to go and do like a glue book like who did that. A few ladies have done that on YouTube. I'm not going to go and do all pockets and that sort of thing. It's going to be very simple. Um, really for someone else to work in. So I'm nearly there. So 
So it's quite warm today, another 20 degrees. We haven't been out for a walk because I don't know if I mentioned it in any videos. I've lost track of my videos or what I've said because um, I've done a few. Um, but an uh, old, old, uh, um, an elderly lady, she, you know what? She, <laughs> she's stand like in, it's in the countryside, right? She's standing outside her house pretending to sweep. There's nothing there to sweep. I can tell you now there's not one leaf along her fence that she needs to sweep. And she's standing there waiting for walkers. And she screams at she screams at them. She screamed at us. She called us kids. And I wanted to thank her for the kids because I'm 50. I'm not a kid. Um, but she obviously saw me as a kid. So thank you very much, lady. Um, but she was too busy screaming at me to, for me to say thank you for that. Um, she's like, you're not allowed to be outside. And we said, and I'm trying to say to her, well, we asked the policeman and he said, that where we are, we're in the countryside and we're near our house and they turn a blind eye, it's okay. Because the law, the decree that they've done, unfortunately, everybody's confused. Even even um, one of the people on, one of the important people on TV last night said that they were very confused. Um, they, they live in an area kind of like us, not, not where we are, but in a similar type area where you're instantly in the countryside. And there's no people like you come across like in the whole walk for like 45 minutes. The only people that you see are another two walkers. And we all, you know, we walk like three meters away from each other. We go on the opposite side of the road. And so it's allowed. That's what the decree kind of says. Um, and so this woman's screaming at us saying, you can't, you're not allowed to be walking. They're very angry on the television. And so we were going to turn around and go back there, back in the same like where we came from anyway and so we pretended we said oh oh we well, we better go home then we're nearly and when we tried to tell her you're allowed to walk when you're near home and I said it was like 45 minutes but it's like doing a lap around the block it's not like very far from our house it's like two minutes in the car um just takes you a bit of time to walk around the block and so we turned around and I and then this other lady was walking and she went past us and I said to Steffi let's just stop and see and um, we were a bit further far away and lo and behold there she was telling the lady off that she wasn't allowed to be walking and so we thought because they are where they have been talking about doing even stricter sort of decrees um and but it's more it's more for the um parts where there's like very dense population like in the ta historical town centers and also Rimini down where the the beach is um there's a promenade there and so or you know everybody's going down there and walking and so it, be it becomes very crowded and so they've they've banned that today they have made the decree today but they didn't say again we're not quite sure whether they're allowed to go and walk where we are because um, it doesn't say in the countryside, it says at the beach. So it's unclear. But anyway, um, I tried to go to the post office and I think I said, I said that in my other video, but I haven't published that video yet. Um, and I tried to go to, to the post office and there was a line literally down the road and around the corner because, of course, everybody has to stand a metre apart as well and you're only allowed a certain number inside. So I said, no, forget that. We'll tr I'll try again on Monday or Tuesday if they're open and um so i've nearly gotten to the other side see i'm going to have to stop here and put a knot so anyway so we came back home and steffi said he's such a cheek he said let's just drive past the lady's house we'll just detour and drive past the lady's house and see if she's standing outside and lo and behold there she was this morning at 11 o'clock pretending to work in her garden and <laughs> What and she she glared at us. I doubt that she would have recognised us. She I don't think she would have thought it was. But boy, did we get! I would say a hairy eyeball. Give you a hairy look. Here we used to call it the hairy eyeball when we were kids. They gave me the hairy eyeball, and so and we could not stop laughing. And she had a mask on. She had a surgical mask on, and um, we were just crying laughing. Like she's in the countryside. Why is she wearing a mask? The poor dear. She must be terrified. I feel really bad for her. Steffi said, I'm going to tell her to mind her own business. I said, no, don't be mean to her. She's just scared. But she's really causing herself a huge amount of anxiety standing out there waiting for people to come by so she can tell them off and getting herself all hot and bothered. Anyway, that was that, that's my... See, this is all I've got going to be able to tell you about her. The, 
are the funny things I see around. I did, we did, when we had a walk the other day, I don't know if I told you this, we would, um, you know, a car drove by. That was the day that we saw the police and there was a guy driving in the, we said, we laugh when we see the people in their, in their own cars by themselves wearing the masks. Um, but we saw this guy, he had literally had the, the end of the world, you know, those end of the world sort of masks on in the car. I mean, he looked like, he looked like a fly, he had the fly face. That's what he had. We thought that was really funny. Well, we did consider buying one of those um, off, but it wasn't going to arrive in time. You know, we thought it might all be over by the time it got here. So um, anyway, Steph's mum knows where to get masks. So we're going to go and get a couple more. But we are, and we only need them when we go and do our shopping. We go a couple of times a week because we have to because we eat a lot of fresh stuff. And um, and so we do have to go. We try not to, but you're always missing something. It's really annoying. I try and write these big, long, extensive lists and then all of a sudden something else is missing. So um, then we just try and build it up and then do one shop so there you go okay well in the at the end of the day I'm stitching this whole thing aren't I because I'm I'm feeling like you're keeping me company even though we're on the other side of the world or the other side of Europe or the other side of the world or the other hemisphere or whatever so oh, I spoke to my sister-in-law today and she she went to um Cambodia and Vietnam with my brother her husband um last year and and then she went oh no first of all she went did she go before yeah before she went with her colleagues and they went and did um like she, with a whole lot of her colleagues they organized and they um quite a big group of them and they went and did charity work in Cambodia they took time off their regular jobs and they went and did charity work and helped remember if they helped paint a school or something over there and they became friends with a tuk-tuk driver and so the lady that had organized her trip like her friend um she's you know she wrote him a message because they're friends with him on facebook and she said i haven't seen you on facebook for a while this really made me sad and um and he wrote back to her and he said oh i haven't had anything to post because all of the tourists have gone and it's like their livelihood and he said i've been really stressed and so she'd set up a, um, they're so sweet, she'd set up a, um, you know, one of those pages to get donations for him. And I said to my sister-in-law, well, what's the page? I'll donate something. Um, you know, because especially in Cambodia, like even a small amount goes far for them. And um, and so anyway, but she's already, it's already shut and they've sent him the money. So I said to her, she said to me next time, if we organize something else for him a bit further down the track, I'll let you know. And I said, oh, I would love to do something nice for someone. Um, that really made me sad when she was telling me that because she said they're such nice people, really nice people. So, um, you know, and they're lively. You know, well, it's hap going to happen to a lot a lot of people, isn't it, with this crisis where the, especially the tourism, a lot of, you know, I mean, even Steffi worries about his, what's going to happen. So, um, oh, well. I guess we're in lockdown, so we're only we're not, you know, wasting any money, are we? We're just buying food and that's it. Okay, so I got this done. We'll talk about happier things. Let's do happy slow stitching. We've got plenty of time. Look at the bright side. Okay, and I think after this I might go and bake some muffins. I feel like I need to do some baking. Okay. And Madam will be happy because she'll have something yummy to eat. So that's going to go there. And I like that. I'm happy with that. That's going to go there. And then I'm going to stitch this on. Now, what color am I going to use for that? Should I use the same? No, maybe I should use this color. Should I use that color? Or, you know, ladies, I hate making decisions. No, I'm going to use blue. I'll probably just have just enough. Just. I was going to let you go, wasn't I? This is probably two hours, this video. Okay. Right. Well, at least we're all in this together, aren't we, ladies? And gents, I should say ladies and gents. There might be some gents out there watching, I doubt it. Um, but um, they might go by and then think, well, why didn't I mention, mention the gents? There you go. And I'm just going to stitch this on like so.
I've gone quiet, I'm concentrating. And I'm going to put quite a few stitches in here because this is heavy, heavy metal sort of piece. So you want to make sure it's going to, not going to come off. It, well, if it did come off, you could, whoever could, or me, if I keep it or I send it to my mum, I don't know. Um, you could um, stitch it back on again. It wouldn't be the end of the world. I, can, I think that's enough. I like that colour. I'm happy with that. See, had I been more organised, I might have stitched it onto there. I might have. I might not have, but I might have. It's just Waffle City here today. Waffle City. Don't know what to say, so waffle on about nothing. Okay. Right. Okay, so then, and this is quite heavy, but I like it. Yep, that's how I want to put it. And then... Okay, I hope I'm on screen doing this. I went off screen a bit yesterday because I knew it. I knew if I moved my my setup and um, and to show you the, the stamps that I would um, be a bit off screen. I knew I wouldn't put it back right. Oh, well. You got the gist of what I was doing. Now I can't find where, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, got it. I need to do one more stitch, I think. There we go, got that. So that should be right. Now this idea, well, no, not the idea, because I haven't seen any, like anyone doing that exactly, but the idea to use that sort of hardware, the door hardware, let's call it, because I don't know the exact term, um, that came from Fiona Hayes. She went to um, like an antique market or flea market in Australia somewhere. And she bought a whole lot thinking that she would like to use them on journals. And um, she's Fiona Hayes Art on Instagram. She's not on YouTube. Um, and she's a watercolour artist and makes lovely journals as well. Um, but doesn't make very too many of them because she's primarily a water color artist and I think she has even has ex exhibitions um, but she had that idea to use those and I thought that was great and of course I bought some so that's that I'm going to put lots of glue lots of glue here a lot I'm going to even put some there and then we won't touch it we won't touch it until it's all stuck we don't want it to come off unfortunately because if if i had um you know to sew signatures in i would actually um i would sew it but i can't because i don't now there's a lot of glue there and i'm actually going to leave that now i think i put it on oh that's all right it's only a little bit on that side that's okay i actually like that more the way i put it on okay good um, so I'll leave that to dry and we'll come back to this tomorrow when it's dry dry so it doesn't come off so I don't want it to come off and I'm wonder I think I'm actually thinking while I'm here I might even glue that down there's no reason for that to be flapping there's no reason for any flapping so let's get rid of the flap we don't need the flap oh that could be a pocket Oh, well, I'll put the glue there now. That could have been like a tuck. Oh, well. See, this is this is the only downside to not knowing what you want to do because then, good, you know, some ideas, it's too late because they come to you after you've put the glue down or done something or cut it or... There we go. Lulu, I'm going to make muffins. She's whinging there's nothing to eat. She's having a whinge. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry. Actually, I can put that like that so you can see. And that's just going to slip under there. And the idea for that slipping under there, that is from 
meditative scrapbooking that she um but she made that flower she put the flower there and that's just going to go like that i think or you could come back and tuck it under again or you could put it through there and and then tuck it through there so you can tuck it through there it's actually better i like that more like that something like that there we go so that's what's going to that's what's going to happen that's what's happening so I'll, un I'll unravel that now because I don't want it to, if the glue seeps through there, to stick. Okay, so that is my video for now and I will be back again soon. Bye.